Bonjour tout le monde! My name is Caitlin McAteer and I am a recent graduate of Texas Christian University. During my time at TCU, I completed a Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, but also found time to study both French and mathematics. During the summer of 2013, I had the privilege of accompanying Dr. Marie Schein and Dr. David Sandel on their multi-ethnic France study abroad trip, which took place in both Montpellier and Béziers, France. Since I'm not able to be there in Fort Worth with you all today, I thought I would put together a quick presentation on some of my experiences and the things that I learned. During my time at TCU, I always wanted an international experience and it felt like this study abroad program was put together specifically for me because it addressed both anthropology and French, two of my studies. Um, I also thought it'd be a great way for me to solidify uh, my French, improve vocabulary, my speaking, listening, um, and application of everything that I've been learning in the classroom. Another huge draw was that it had a huge service learning component. So I've had lots of friends who've studied abroad in the past, and while they all come back with amazing stories, photos, and tales of their adventures, I always felt like they were tourists in the places that they visited, and that wasn't so much what I wanted. I wanted real integration, meeting the people, getting into their culture, and seeing life more from their perspective. So this service learning program really appealed to me because I recognized that by spending weekly efforts in the community, doing some sort of service aspect, that I was inter interacting with the people while working on my French, um, learning to make great observations in an anthropological context and really getting to learn the culture. During our first week in Montpellier as a class, we had the opportunity to sit in on three different service-oriented efforts going on in Montpellier, France, and decide which of the three we would like to spend the remainder of our time in the area focusing on. The three that I uh, got to go observe and ultimately chose one to focus on were first the épicerie or the small grocery store geared towards homeless persons in Montpellier. Um, I also visited a middle school where an English teacher needed some assistance in his classroom um, with helping make sure the students understood the lessons. And I also observed the um, daily occurrences, ongoings of Secours Catholique and their after-school tutoring programs. Their students of migrant backgrounds, or really anyone, but it mostly appealed to migrant students and families, could come in and receive help with their homework every day. Um, I found my observances at the Pisserie very interesting because I got to see the system of how each family or a representative from their family was allowed to come into the grocery store and purchase items at a fraction of the price, which um, enabled them to get the things that they needed while still having self-value and self-worth and not feeling like they were just given everything. Um, my observations at the college were very interesting as well because it showed um, very interesting differences between the American classroom setting and the French classroom setting in the sense of um, relations between the French teachers and the students, in addition to uh, willingness to ask questions, um, the number of students that each teacher is assigned and how this affects classroom dynamics, but also how there is a great need in this English classroom for just another pair of hands, another pair of eyes to go around and help the students. Um, I chose to focus on Secours Catholique because um, I really, really grew fond of the children in this, centen, uh, in this center immediately. Um, all the students that I interacted with were from migratory backgrounds and um, were struggling in school because they had too many peers in a classroom or because they couldn't get homework help at home or they were too afraid to ask questions, or they were still learning French while still being taught lessons in French. Um, I spent two hours a week there, I'm sorry, two hours a day, two times a week there, working on the students with their math and um, English homework. This was super rewarding, and I had a great time not only helping the students with their homework, um, but also just chit-chatting with them afterwards, um, breaking down stereotypes of Americans, teaching them fun new slang, or um, just talking in general because it didn't seem like they'd get a, gotten a lot of attention in a classroom setting before and they really seemed to enjoy it.
While my peers and I, all participating in the service-based study abroad group, all had different service learning activities that we participated in, we all shared the uh, similar assignments that we had to complete on a weekly and um, semester-long basis. So um, these included weekly submissions of our field notes that we had taken during our time at our service uh, learning destinations. So um, each day that we went to our centers, we were asked to record our observations, how people interacted, the dynamics in the room, relations between ethnic groups, um, phrases that we overheard, things we didn't understand, things that caught our eye, to start using anthropology in a really practical way, a hands-on way, in taking those field notes to later turn them into what was due as a long, uh, more term-like paper in which we were asked to um, tie together observations um, that we had made in our service learning activities that we had made as a group during various outings, like the one that we took to a market in um, the city center as compared to a market in the outer uh, city limits um, for ethnic differences and race relationships and such um, to tie together all of our semester's learnings basically into one long semester paper. And so that was the conclusion in most of what our grades were based on. One thing I'm so thankful for in um, my ability to participate in Dr. Shine and Dr. Sandell's study abroad trip during the summer of 2013 was the beautiful way that it set me up to conduct my own fieldwork research in anthropology while in Bézier, France. So after the study abroad group all departed back home for the United States, I stayed on an additional three, almost four weeks in Bézier, where I worked with a local NGO called La CIMAD, which operates as a residential area and center in the community where refugees and migrants can come through and receive help with their paperwork processes to gain um, admittance into France and also asylum. So during my time volunteering at the center, I interacted much with the refugees, went on walks with them, um, I hosted activities for the children, reading books, coloring, speaking in French, and um, also tutored a couple children as well. And through these observations, I was ultimately able to write a senior thesis on how anti-immigration sentiments in southern France impact the uh, silence-seeking process for refugees, but also um, uh, research on specific things that centers geared towards refugee aid can do to improve the integration efforts of those refugees. So the last thing I wanted to talk about today were some of the huge things that I gained from participating in this service learning based study broad trip. One of the first is that it greatly improved my French. While before this trip I had been studying French for about four and a half years, including some high school experience, um, my French when I got to France was not as great as I thought it was. I had trouble listening and speaking, participating in conversations with people from different accents. However, by the end of my stay in France, I felt uh, much more comfortable. I didn't understand everything, but um, I was picking up things a lot better, uh, could better articulate, especially things in different tenses, and was even starting to understand my Martinican uh, host mother, who had a very thick accent, which I was very proud of. Another thing that I gained from this trip was um, anthropology experience, uh, experience making observations, but also conducting um, interviews with some people in a foreign language, which I think was a great experience. It also helped set me up for research on my senior thesis, which was pretty cool. Um, not many of my peers conducted uh, thesis projects and very, very few got to do them abroad. So this was a real privilege for me. Um, also, one of the biggest things that I gained from this was real hands-on experience working with NGOs based internationally. Um, it's my one day uh, big goal to work in n uh, the nonprofit sector with uh, some sort of international aid. And so um, my time abroad working with refugees and a lot of migrants really helped solidify um, 
my desire to work in refugee services one day. And while I got to go out and see a lot, do a lot, go to many places, um, visit a lot of attractions, I felt I really um, had met a lot of locals, was involved in many deep conversations and really grew a lot as a person through this trip. I'm very glad I went. Un jour en été, sous mes couches de mascara, je t'avais remarqué. Et tant d'années plus tard, je t'ai vu et j'ai pensé aller à ta rencontre, voir si tu as du temps à m'accorder. Mais toi, tu ne sais pas que je t'aurais tout donné le jour où dans tes lunettes mon regard s'est plongé. Et toi, tu ne sais pas que je voudrais bien de toi. C'est bien triste. Cette chanson, les branches tombent.